and thank you for coming. We pray that you enjoy your evening of worship and Christ Christian fellowship. This evening, we will use God's word, the hymns listed in your service folder, and the traditional Advent wreath to aid us in our Advent devotion. Let's begin our worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We will join in singing the Advent gathering song as listed in your service folder. prophecy candle and we remember this candle lighting imitates the beginning of the Advent season and the anticipation of the coming Christ child. The prophecy candle takes us back to the many Old Testament verses about the coming Christ and the hope we have in him. God's first promise came after Adam and Eve's fall into sin. The second candle called the Bethlehem candle refers to where the Messiah was to be born and the peace he would bring. We light the Bethlehem candle to remember the prophecies about Christ's birth. Where would he be born? Exactly what would our promised Messiah be like? God gave us the answers through his word. We sing about Christ's humble beginning in the next hymn, What Child Is This? Mary was near the end of her pregnancy when Joseph announced they needed to travel to Bethlehem to be counted for a Roman census. Do you wonder if Mary thought, what bad timing? Or Mary, maybe Mary remembered the scripture prophecies over 400 years earlier. Micah told Mary about us and that Jesus would be born in Bethlehem, an ancient city in Judah. Let's read this prophecy together as found in your service holder. We can all read. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. So they arrived in Bethlehem, dusty and tired. Mary watches wearily as Joseph is turned away, one in after another. Finally, one innkeeper takes pity on them and tells them, you can stay with the animals. is the king of the universe. Every scripture reading believer knew he would be born in Bethlehem. But Mary gives birth in a stable with its flies and strong odors. What a humble beginning and what a comfort for believers. Jesus, even as Lord of the universe, isn't some unapproach unapproachable member of a royal family. He's not surrounded by bodyguards. You don't need an appointment or need to be a VIP to talk to him. He came for all people and all walks of life. He listens and understands every situation we experience because he's been there. We praise him for sending his son who was willing to give up everything for us. We will now hear an ensemble sing away in a major. <laughs>
The shepherd's candle is the next candle, and it reminds us of the shepherds who received that wonderful announcement, came to see the newborn Savior, and then went out rejoicing to spread the good news of his birth. The shepherds were humble men in a lonely job. Out of the black of night, an angel appears with unbelievable news, and the night sky explodes with the bright white light of thousands of angels. That had to be incredible. Have you ever heard a choir of thousands? They were singing the kinds of praise you and I won't have the pleasure of hearing on this side of heaven. We eagerly look forward to the day we join in that choir. Upon receiving the news, the shepherds eagerly went to see Jesus. Let's join in singing our next hymn with the enthusiasm of the shepherds. God describes how the angel Gabriel quietly told Mary of the miracle that would take place within her. The description of the angel's message in Luke chapter 2, verses 13 and 14, is not even close to quiet. Please read these verses with me. They are printed in your service folder. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. Angels, we have heard on high, sweetly singing. the angel's candle is a symbol of God's love and abiding presence in our lives through his gift of angels. It also signifies the ongoing anticipation of our Lord's return. The heralds who announce Jesus' quiet arrival as a baby in Bethlehem will return again with great fanfare and a trumpet call of God to announce the second coming. We can't wait for that announcement. Angels are God's messengers. These special messengers brought messages of what was to come, and in the case of the shepherds, what had already happened. <clears throat> Along with their announcement came comfort and reassurance. God promises that his angels will protect us as well. We can look forward to the great, with great anticipation to the day when we will see angels because that will be the day that we are either in heaven with Jesus or when the last day has come, we can't wait to hear a multitude of angels singing God's praise. Joyful
John chapter 1, we read, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness. The Christ candle is lit on Christmas Day as a reminder of the fulfillment of God's promise to us through his only Son. We light the Christ candle and think of God giving us the word, our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus has returned to the heavenly realms to rule the universe and still lives inside the hearts of us and all Christians. Without Christ, what a dark and empty place our lives would be. How burdened we would be even by the effort of life's simplest chores. With Christ on our side, we can say with John, in him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness. With Christ, we are enlightened. Just as the Advent wreath brightens with each candle lit, we too shine for Jesus as we grow in his word. The Christ candle reminds us of Christ, the perfect, pure, and holy gift. Let us bow in deep humility as we offer generous gifts, our heartfelt thanks, and resounding praises, all to the glory of God. of Advent preparations of the heart and we are filled with joy after having heard the word from the Bible and in the songs we have sung so joyously together so where do we go from here we can look to Mary and the shepherds for examples Luke tells us that Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart just like Mary we want to cherish this wonderful news and never forget it by God's grace he has made a promise to us if you continue in my word, you really are my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Luke also tells us that when the shepherds had seen Jesus, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. They didn't keep this important news to themselves. They shared it. Like the shepherds, we want to share with joy and certainty the truth that, he, that, that we know and hold dear. The Apostle Paul gives us great advice as what to do next. He writes in 1 Peter 3.15, But in your hearts set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. As we return home to our routines and daily lives, let us not lose the wonder and joy we've experienced here tonight. Treasure it in your hearts, but also share it joyously with others. Jesus' birth with us tonight. Advent by Candlelight is a wonderful opportunity to step away from the craziness of the holiday season, to refocus and remember what the season is actually about, praising and celebrating the day that love came down from heaven, when God made himself nothing, took on the likeness of man so that one day he could humble himself and die on the cross for you. <laughs> The day Jesus was born, God looked at you and he said, you are worth it and I love you. 